Hey there, either Holler Fire Familia, welcome to another reaction. This time I'm going to react into The Dragon Prince Season 4, Episode 6, The Drake Wood. Uh, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm curious, with it being called Drake Wood, Drake is usually like another term for like dragon, um, like dra draconic. Um, so I'm wondering if Drake Wood is because this dra- this- not dragon, this forest is filled with dragon or woods, um, or it's the place where Soren is, and that's called Drakewood, um, which would make sense because they also threw that other dragon there. Or yeah, they had to have thrown both Soren and the dragon down there, right? It's not like a place where the dragons are from. So yeah, I think so. Unless that's their nest or something that they threw Soren into, which I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, listen, dragon friend, huh. dragon. Now listen, Soren. All you gotta do is you gotta pull a hiccup. Just close your eyes. And like, just like hold your hand out like this, just be like that, and then it'll 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 come up and just be your friend. Oh, never mind. They've got it chained up. So yeah, Talon. <laughs> I don't know about this one. You're actually. Are you gonna? Yeah, it probably would help if you don't have something really shiny on your hand so it like reflects the light and blinds the dragon. Poor Soren, he's not having luck with this. First it's Soren goop at its face. Now it's blinding it with his armor. You're a shiny example, Soren. Anyway, back with uh, Rayla and Callum and Ezrin and Stella and... Bait. <laughs> Did I get everyone? Come on, come on, babe. Warm, warm up to Stella. What? Soren? Soren? Oh, now she's gonna be concerned. Rayla, are you okay? Uh, what? What? Calm? Are you concerned? <laughs> I love how. Okay, so see that shows that even though he's like upset over what Rayla did, leaving him and stuff. Like as soon as he hears her like freaking out or panicking, it's like, what? What's wrong? <laughs> so, like, so he still has like you know concern for her and stuff. Why didn't you say anything last night? Mm. Is this when they're going to have their big blow up? Um, Ezrin? What are you doing? What you doing? Climbing tree. I think we have a visitor. Are you going to talk to a drake? I love how, how Okay, hold up. How how did he so easily climb that tree? Like that's a, a tree that's going straight up and it's not like he can wrap his arms around. How are you climbing that, Ezrin? Are you What you doing? I was about to say that, are you a monkey? But I feel like that could be taken horribly. So, I, I, never mind. I should edit, I'm gonna edit that out. <laughs> I feel like that could be taken so badly. I think we have a visitor. I don't mean it that way either. I just meant that he climbed that so well and made it look so easy. <laughs> Is it Sam? It's Sam, isn't it? Yeah. What other dragon would be barking and whining like a dog? <laughs> what are you doing there, Zim? His mom's gonna be pissed. Unless mom sent him. Sons. Let me guess, that's Janai's sister's crown. Sister. Also their mother, right? What would you have done if someone had snuffed it out? I would have burned them alive. <laughs> the human must face justice. What kind of justice? Because, I mean, I understand, like, her maybe standing for her, like, talking or, like, going up for a trial, but not put to death or something. Because it's like, yeah, it was disrespectful and everything, but not warning death. Or even, like, removing, uh, disarming, removing arm, whatever you would call it. I think, you know what I love about uh, Ren is how he can, like, like, he can even read, like, even through the sign language, he can read Amaya's, like, tone. Like, it's not just a, am I interrupting something here? It's like, am I interrupting something here? <laughs> it's just like, you know, he knows her so well that he can, like, even tell her tone from how she signs and probably also her facial expressions. I distinctly remember your mom telling you to stay home. We also, did you miss the part where she said he's becoming so, was it willful lately? Pretty much being a teenager. Like some, <laughs> like some teenagers do.
that face switch up. No, wait. Kill us anyway. Good try. Look at the smile. Even Stella's doing it. There's just. Team. <laughs> I love it. I, I swear. I love the expressions of so many. Like, between, I would say, mainly Rayla and then um, Viren. Viren has the most. I'm so done with this faces, whereas Rayla is very the sarcastic or like she can be like look really sweet and stuff and then it's just like <laughs> Wait a second, maybe he can help. It's kind of funny that his mom would be so protective of him when he's older now, so he'd be stronger. Like, don't get me wrong, he's not a full grown or even adolescent. No, wait, I think he is adolescent if he's a teenager. Um Late teens, he, you know, let's just say adult. He's not an adult arch dragon yet, so I understand why she's scared because something could still hurt or kill him. But he compared to when he was like a little puppy <laughs> dragon, um, and he still was fine. Granted, he almost got his magic and whatever sucked out by Viren. Um, but you know, I, I feel like he he's a lot safer now. As you can see through Zim's eyes, right? When he wants me to. <laughs> I need his consent. Oh. All Lucia has done is put out a candle, and she was the one burned. Oh, is this gonna create a rift between Amaya and Janai? Is Amaya gonna see it as just a candle, whereas Janai is gonna be like, that means more to us than just a can- Hmm. She for blowing out a candle? Usually some clapping, followed by a slice of birthday cake. I, I, I don't think that's- I don't- I, I know she's joking or something, but I don't think that's the, I don't think that's the way to handle it when a, when this ritual is not something silly to them. It's something as serious as when a loved one passes away. Like, uh, just Amaya, imagine your sister, uh, and her. Would you like if somebody disrespect, like, destroyed the statue or something? When oh, you know, that's like a pinata to us. You see, this is the problem. The brother. I love the way he went. You see. <laughs> and what happens if she's found guilty? Punishment is death. Is death. Well, jeez, I understand this is serious, but holy. Of who we are. People who kill someone over a loved one's soul flame being blown out. I, I get it, it's serious, but holy. Like, I feel like I've said that a little too much. But, yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Not over that. Like, even if somebody desecrated, I wouldn't say kill them. I would say. Maybe punish them, like find them or something, or you know, I don't know. Uh, what would they call it? Not disservice. Um, human humanity service. I forgot what they call it. Humanity work. I don't know. But make them do that. Clean up around the camp or something. We. This is like a 3D ride. <laughs> Wait, what's that? The pit of despair. Get a little I see armor. Is that sword? Oh, Soren's dead. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, hello. Are you gonna actually try and capture? I don't think so, but if you actually try to capture the Dragon Queen's baby, oh, you know what? I hope you do. Capture, capture Zim, and then when uh, Zubeya comes in and like roasts your ass with lightning, I will stand there and clap and watch with popcorn. Catch me that little blue zapper. Dude. You guys are definitely not like, you know, for Earth, Blood, uh, Elves, I would expect them to be the most respectful in tune with nature, but it's so much for that. That's zap, it. zap. You're here. He's gonna get caught as soon as he... After him. Get down there and catch that spot he I feel like, I wonder if these guys would react at all if, if Ezrin said that he's the son of the Dragon Queen. Also, what is the what is their version of death? Are they gonna like behead her? I feel like that'd be the way because I feel like that's very like Aztec like tribal style. Uh, it was a stupid idea to send Zim up there. Yeah, that was your idea. <laughs> These two are gonna literally blow up into a fight in this in this episode. I swear. Well, why didn't you tell me my idea was stupid? Callum, Rayla. What do you have listened if she had? You're the real reason Zim is still here at all. Yes, thank you. Talk sense into the Mezrin. We can do this. Pull your oh wait, you know, I did say I think in the last episode I said if Ezrin could give a talk to like Callum and stuff, but I mean he's 
talking to them both, so hey, you know, two for one deal. So we have to slow them down. Uh, uh, Sticky spell? Yeah, I've got it. Stratum Caligo. Fog. That's that little boy of the main general one. I have an idea. Actually, no, instead of beheading, I feel like because they are the Sunfire Elves, what if they roast her alive like an ant with a magnifying glass? <laughs> but ignorance is no excuse. The bereaved wept. Yeah, I would say dis uh, ignorance is not an excuse to be disrespectful. Like, Also, why the fudge does this one person on the like left side look absolutely stoned or dazed out of her mind? Actually, okay. The more I stare, the more I notice that all the background characters, except for, like, the two, the main ones, like, we're focused on right here. Everyone else looks absolutely just stoned. Like, they're just stuck in a position like this. <laughs> Why? But anyway, yeah, ignorance is not justified being disrespectful. Like, she could have easily been, like, like I said, there should have been a compromise of, okay, take your flame outside of the camp then. Not in the middle of the camp. Uh, but, you know. We wouldn't have conflict then. Come and get me, big guy. Uh, I <laughs> bait. Oh, we're gonna flash him. Oh, that's smart. Bait smart. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that is such a. <laughs> we got you. <laughs> bait. Oh. That would be a concussion, or at least a knockout. Amazing, <laughs> everyone. I can't tell if he uh, like he went like this to like this because of the of the you still got it. It's like I'm not that old. It's been two years. Nice job. Uh, yeah, yeah, you too. Really, you too. Okay. Well done. Zim, it's safe to come out now. Tell us where he was still tied up. The boy. The boy found him. Why do I feel like maybe the son or the boy does not agree with his father and everyone in the rest of their style of doing things? I think. Wait, is this how to train a dragon? <laughs> Cause you know, Toothless was tied up with the uh I don't know what they're called, but yeah, Hiccup had, t had shot him down and with the and tied him up and everything, kind of a similar way. So, get back! This is my dragon. Uh, sorry, Zim was Ezrin's first. Um, and yeah, you're you're like you're like Hiccup 2.0. Shoo shoo. <laughs> Ezrin was the was the better Hiccup. Um, but yeah, it's like I I feel like this could be a reference to How to Train Dragon. She is not innocent. Bye. <laughs> Sacrifice to the Sunfire Wolves. She was callous. She was careless. She was cruel. The three C's. Death is not the answer. Mm -hmm. We gain nothing if we throw away the chance to learn and grow. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I understand punishing her, but death is a... Uh... A little bit extreme. Does that mean death? Or just they've come to a decision? Guilty. I'm supposed to catch my own dragon. It's what you have to do to grow up and become a Also, I'm not gonna lie, his voice sounds Okay, I'm sorry. I have to bring this up. Even though I love Ezra's voice actress and stuff and like but and I'm getting used to his new voice. Um I feel like his voice has got like Ezra's voice has gotten lighter now that he's older versus when he was younger, and this boy now has a deeper voice than freaking Ezra does, and Ezra is older than him. <laughs> like I don't know, I, it feels weird. It feels like they just swapped. My name's Nathan. You can eat me if you want to. You can eat me if you want to. I mean, Zubaya probably would. He won't eat you, and you don't have to keep bowing. I'd rather he tell me that, sir. I am speaking for him. Justice must be served. What kind of justice, though? 
Jenai. We will make you build a hundred tents. I don't know. I feel like that would be the punishment. Hold out your hands. Are you gonna heal them? <laughs> oh, I mean, I said about you know, would it be the equivalent thing would be like cutting off hands or something like that? Okay, you know, I, <laughs> I, I said I I think death is a little too much, but even cutting off hands, maybe one, but like both. Okay. Um, I don't like how the brother, you could tell the brother is definitely more old school style because he's like smiling over this and it's just like, I would not. I would be like, eh, no. Stab it into the ground? Or are you cutting your chains? She cut the chains. If we are to rebuild, we must do so together. In mercy. In compassion. Yeah, brother. Under the guidance of our priests, you will build a shrine here. Yeah, there you go. See, there you go. Compromise. Build a shrine on the outskirts of the tent. Uh, not tent, but the camp. So then people or the elves that want to go and do more of their soul flame stuff, they can go do that in the shrine. One where soul candles may burn without threat to the camp. This is my decree. Thank you. I agree. That's Thank a good one. You, oh, brother's upset. I'm Is he getting better rubs? They always told me oh my dangerous, gosh. Dangerous, but you must mean the gold guy. The who what now? Gold, the guy. gold guy. He beat Woolen by bunking him on the head with a gold. Pow. Oh, gourd guy, not gold. I know where they took your friend. That's good news. It He's in the pit of despair. That's not good news. It's the pit of despair. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. The grape orb. Sun willow? Fire willow? This is a sun seed. Yes. Hmm. But the future will be bright again. If not for you and I. And for the future generations? Yeah. They put him down there with the meanest Drake in Drakewood. Scar Maker. Scar Maker? <laughs> oh no, he's dead. Whatever will we do? Let me guess. He took off his armor or the reflective pieces of his arm so he doesn't scare the dragon. Maybe he just needed to take off his armor? Yeah, there's no blood and there's, yeah, the, the, I would not take that as a bad sign when there's no, like, scratches, dents, blood anywhere. I'll make a lick to clean. This is all my f Well, that doesn't help. You know him. He's brave. Plus, where's the Drake? And reckless. And That's stupid. <laughs> Everyone who goes down there without a guide is lost forever. Okay, can you be our guide? I was wondering, because he did look at this, this, uh, one of the council people, uh, or judges, and I was wondering why, so, uh, lady friend. Janai walks a path that leads to the end of our history. The only choice is to finish her chapter. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I knew, I had a bad feeling with him, I'm just like, you know what, he's very stuck in, like, does the fact that he was smiling over the idea of her hand, the human's hands getting cut off and stuff. Yeah, he's definitely stuck in the old ways. Yay! Nothing like family to go against you. Or worse, are they gonna try and kill her? Or get her removed? Oh my god. Claudia? I know that two-toned head. Oh wait, are are him and Squeaky out? Of, okay, so him and Squeaky are out of the pit of despair, so they got out, and now Rayla and them are in there thinking they. Oh my god! Oh, of course they ended off there where they beat up. Really? Okay. Okay, that's fine. All right, so we got a drawing of Squeaky. 
Oh, uh, you got the comedy mask and the, is it drama or, tra no, comedy and tragedy mask, I remember now. The sun seed. Soren hugging a dragon plushie and it, is that a plushie of the Drake? Like the one that he's just befriended? That reminds me of when, I think it was a drawing of him as a child hugging or like a toddler hugging a dragon plushie. Oh, you got the old crown. When was that? When was the boy hanging from a tree? Hint to later on or before he found his, uh, Zim? I don't know. But anyway, all right, let me go ahead and get into my thoughts. Okay, well, uh, with this one, I don't really have too much to say. Like, it's definitely, it's, so we've now left off with, you know, I was hoping that brother would kind of see the ways and like change his opinions or thoughts. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's not the case. In fact, he's going to go and I'm guessing try to, is it underthrow? I forgot the term is. Not coup. Um, but... Sermine? I forgot. He's gonna overthrow. Is it overthrow? Yeah, I think he's gonna try and overthrow Janai or like take her place and try to rule instead because he believes she's not going down the right path. Uh, and then, oh, we're gonna lose our history and everything. And it's just like, oh, uh, this is good. That's gonna be interesting. Um, I wonder if it's gonna lead to like Amaya seeing that he's up to no good and then trying to tell Janai, but Janai doesn't listen to Amaya kind of thing. I could see that going that way out. Um, but uh, so you got that. And then you have Rayla and Callum kind of sort of having little tiffs. Um, and I love how Ezra just was like, knock it off. <laughs> um, but you can see that they definitely like, you know, Callum being concerned for Rayla when she was, you know, yelling. And then, um, you know, when she started freaking out, and he's like, you know, it's okay, calm down. So I feel like we're on the verge of them maybe having a talk or them, you know, forgiving each other. Or not forgiving each other because Rayla doesn't need to forgive me. She's not... If anything, she probably needs to figure for herself. But uh, Callum's one that needs to forgive her. So I wonder if we're going to get that in the next episode or something. Um, yeah, and now we have Soren, who's got a dragon friend. Um, and he's now a dragon rider. Uh, and he's ran into Claudia. So that's going to be an interesting interaction. Um, also, he doesn't know that Viren's alive. So, yeah, it's good. Also, that Claudia's dating an elf. So it's going to be interesting. Um... Yeah, overall, it was a good episode. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens in the next one. Because uh, I'm guessing... I'm guessing we're... Uh, will we will we get to see Igneous Rex in the next episode? I... I like, I hope we do. But at the same time, I don't think that's going to happen. Because I feel like we're maybe one, one more episode after the next before we see Igneous. Because um, they got to get through this pit of despair whole thing. And also, you know, Soren's not even down there anymore. So... Um, but yeah, anyway, overall, good episode, uh, uh, enjoyed the plot, characters were great, animation, I don't know, the animation still, like, I feel like it's, it still feels off to be compared to the, like, the previous seasons, not the first, because the first was, you know, the frame rate was, uh, but, like, once it smoothed out, uh, like, I think it was season two to season three? Yeah, like, the animation was smooth. But I don't know, it feels like the animation style kind of changed, not the art style or anything, but just the, like, it feels a little different. Like, there's some moments where it feels, not that the frame rate's off, that it feels not as smooth or something. I don't know. Like, it's not bad. Like, I'm not, I'm not, um, it's not something that's distracting where I'm like, oh, ew, you know, like, that kind of thing. But it's more like, there's moments where I'm like, huh, that, that I feel like that would have looked different last season. But, I could also just be wrong, but, um. Uh, but yeah, anyway, and the music was good-ish. I, like, didn't notice anything. I usually comment on music if I really, like, notice, like, specific moments where I'm like, ooh, that music was good or something like that. But overall, like, the music in the show is, like, good. Um, but yeah, uh, anyway, those are my thoughts for the episode. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, night, and keep bringing bright. See ya!